All right, everybody, man. This is your boy Trey. Well, let's just talk fitness. Um, and today, man, this is a check-in with Giselle. You guys know who she is, man. So I'm not even really gonna just go into the whole elaborate spill on how to spell her name and all these type of things. Like y'all know who she is, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not even needed. But um, yeah, uh, we got Giselle here today, man. So we're gonna check in on her, see how she's been doing, how she's been going with her fitness journey, what's been new. Um, before the call, man, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out there. Um, she pretty much was eating like raw spinach, like literally, like just the leaves, and like just eat them as if they were chips or Starburst or some other Skittles. And I didn't understand it, you know what I'm saying? And, and and so we had this huge debate that was just heavy on my my heart. And you know, so if there's anybody out there, man, that can you know 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 a variety of seasons or something to add on to veggies, you know, maybe maybe hit her up. Maybe. Oh, you're not okay. You're not welcoming that. You're not. You don't want any tips or anything? okay. Okay. Well, I try. Um, <laughs> but no, 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 man. Welcome, G. G. How are you doing? How's your day going? What's going on with you? How are you, lady? I'm doing great. But I want to address what you just no, said. You don't, we don't have. You don't have. Yeah, we don't have no, to go there. No, okay. let's get into it since you are clearly so you know strong on it. Mm. Let me explain. Okay. So. I was eating and I was having chicken, chicken breast. I was mm. having a uh, rice cauliflower, mm. right? I was having some spinach, raw spinach mm. on half of my plate. And then I had some salsa on the side. Homemade salsa, everything tasted amazing. Mm. Mm. And so I, he saw me eating like the spinach. And then he brought up, he was like, wait, are you just eating it raw like that? Like no seasoning. And I was like, no, like I, I just eat it raw. And to him, it was like, you know. Well, see, he's over here. No, like no, no, child, I was coughing. Right? I was coughing. No, being a child. But the reality is, this <laughs> what, <laughs> what, like, okay, here's an, unpo- by the way, unpopular opinion. Okay. It's just my opinion. It's not facts, right? Unpopular opinion. But I just find it weird whenever I do, like, uh, I guess, see people, like, always needing to put seasoning in their vegetables because it's like, I don't know. It's just kind of like funny to me. Oh, in a childish. Sense, it's... I think she used the word childish, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. But no, but I think it's just funny because it's like, dude, you're a grown adult. You mean to tell me you can't eat some plain lettuce? You can't eat plain lettuce. Mm. Like, that's just sad. Mm. That's sad. Mm-mm. Are y'all hearing, y'all hearing this? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to anyone who does that. That is sad like low-key like that's sad but it's funny at the same time like i'll make fun of someone for that like how i'm doing with him oh yeah she yeah, I, I already received it yeah he already received it I'm and done. he'll continue to receive it because anytime you know he brings it up i'm gonna throw it back at him so yeah i mean yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. The, the next the next check-in i'll make sure i come with a plate of seasoned veggies i promise i'll eat it right in front of your face while we that doesn't hurt this? me that only hurts you oh yeah it was, huh? <laughs> Yo, that affects yo. your body, not yeah. mine. Yeah, you know. Okay, all right. Well, all I gotta say is, I'm glad that you're doing good. I'm glad you loved your raw veggies. I'm glad that you had your salsa on the side to help out with the taste. I'm glad you had your cauliflower rice, and thank you for just you know smacking in my ear. I I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> um, no, no, no. But again, I'm so glad all is well. You've been killing it, you know. So first off, let me just say that your consistency in terms of your posting, um, your meal preps. I'm not sure if you you don't meal prep, right? You like you just cook and eat it that same day. Okay, you don't meal prep. So your 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 meal preps in terms of that day where you do eat your meals, it's been hands down amazing. Like just been I've been seeing the consistency, the posting continuously on Instagram, but you always show us your food. Um, I've really been able, I've really enjoyed seeing those, those different varieties of foods that you make. And then also the ingredients you put with it. So you don't just leave us hanging with like, what is this? But you also let us know what it is that you're actually putting in your body. So I appreciate that too. Um, yeah. And just how informative your content has been like, just for a minute, just like taking a second and just appreciating you for your content. Um, uh, I think I ran across your RDL video. Uh, your your recent RDL video, yeah, like I was looking at that, and j- again, just looking at um, what I what I normally do is look at the comments, and seeing the comments tells me a lot about how it's helping people. 
So I've been seeing some of your comments, some of the engagement, even the bookmarking, people saving it as a form of help. And so just seeing those numbers and seeing you can see that on my profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that. On Instagram? On um no, not on Instagram, but but TikTok. Oh, I was like, Yeah, (laughs) no, no. (laughs) I was like, wait a minute. (laughs) No, no. Wait, what you hiding? What do you no, I'm not hiding anything, but I was just like, wait, you see Can you that? see it? Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, you can't see it. I think yeah. on TikTok, because you can yeah. see it on TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. TikTok, I can't, but not IG, not IG. Yeah. Yeah, but either either way, but on, on either platform, it's been very informative. Um, And I just really appreciate how far your content has come in terms of being informative and helpful. Even if I don't, it is a lot of stuff that you may do may not pertain to me per se as a guy being a guy who kind of like works out and stuff like that at home and all that type of stuff, but you still give a lot of information that is useful and can still be used. So I appreciate it. Um, So tell us a little bit about the past month, you know what I'm saying? In terms of your fitness goals. Um, Again, I know some of them already, Um, you know, in terms of your calorie deficit, it getting a bit harder because you were decreasing the number of calories per day. Um, But how has that been your goals in regards to that? and any other fitness goals that you have. So just letting us know what those goals were, and then did you hit those goals? And if you did, tell us how you you know went about hitting those goals, and if you didn't, tell us what prevented you. So the past 30 days have been pretty good. I would say I've hit all my goals, okay. but it was definitely like a little challenging too because um, – so basically like the first week of June, I made the switch on my calorie deficit, so – I made, I went into a deeper deficit than before. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at 1,000, like 1,600, 1,650 around there. So at first it was challenging because like the first two days I was still over it a little bit, but then I got it down though. Mm -hmm. Um, So basically for me, for my goals, I figured out I have to keep every meal like three. Well, it depends, but like for the most part, like, 350, 350 calories or less yeah. but it depends though because like there are some times where i have a meal that's like really low calorie mm-hmm. but still has a lot of protein and stuff so if it's low calorie i'm able to have like a higher calorie dinner or a higher calorie mm-hmm. lunch like you could play with it yeah as long as it's under the number like the total number Absolutely. for the day mm-hmm. then you're pretty much good you know so sometimes i'll, I'll play with that a little bit yeah um it just depends but for the most part i've been doing pretty good so i've been tracking every day wow because i have weighing? like you know what i just ordered a food scale because so how, I, how are you tracking so basically it depends on the serving size what it says but okay. like if it says like for example the rice cauliflower i just had it says three-fourths cup is 70 calories so okay. i put three-fourths i use a measuring cup Oh, measuring Um, cup. Okay. Okay. And also on the measuring cup, it has ounces. Okay. So, so yeah, because I don't have a scale yet, what I'm doing is, um, I'll put like, like the other day I had salmon four Mm -hmm. a four ounce salmon. Salmon. Yeah. So I just put it in there and like measured, like I just measured it. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, the cup. Yeah. I used to do that. Yeah. Like that's what I did. So, Mm uh, yeah, that's how I've been doing it. But, but it is getting hard. Like I feel hungry all the time. Mm um even though i'm eat like my protein is again i don't struggle with protein wow. but like i get hungry fast yeah um like right afterwards you know i get hungry fast but um it's just one of those things like discipline you know just mm-hmm. like continuing to do it <laughs> so i you know i just push through type of thing yeah um uh i know art in one of the meetings like i don't know like three meetings ago or i'm not sure he did um mention like i could have like a a heavier or a higher calorie dinner to like keep me full like Mm -hmm. for the night and sometimes i do that but it just depends because a lot of times i'm training clients at night so i take my dinner to the gym wow oh my goodness i take my dinner there and i'll eat in between but because (laughs) like i'm eating between like I can't spend time on like a like a bare meal mm. so it depends sometimes I'll have like a heavy lunch mm. and then yeah like yeah I just kind of like do stuff like that to kind of yeah. like make myself like fuller longer mm. type of thing 
But mm. overall, though, I feel like now I've got it down more. So wow. I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, I'm kind of like getting used to the hunger feeling. Mm. I'm kind of getting used to it. Ooh. A little yeah. bit. Not too much. Mm. Not, yeah. not a little bit. I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. Mm. Starting to. Wow. But yeah. Wow. 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 That's that's awesome. OK, so that was nutrition based goals. Are there any other goals outside of that uh, in terms of maybe cardio or uh, weight uh, lifting, weightlifting? Is there something you're doing in the gym in terms of your weights? Were you trying to hit maybe a certain uh, weight goal or something like that? Is there anything else outside of nutrition? So cardio has been good. I have been doing cardio five to six times per week. Wow. Yeah. Um, some days are more intense than others. So not every day is an intense day. Mm. Um, okay. so I just want to make that clear, but, yeah. uh, that's been pretty good. Like yeah. I actually did cardio today. So this, like this current week, I did six days of cardio. Six and days. What, what kind of cardio are you doing? Is some are intense and some are not. So some so, days I'm walking. Okay. Just walking. Some days I'm walking on incline. So it's okay. a little more challenging. Yep. A little bit. And then one day out of the week, I do the Stairmaster. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. So then, fluctuating. Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of, you know, do that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then as far as weightlifting goes, that's been pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I guess because I am cutting overall, I just want to like try to maintain my strength as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I'm willing to accept that I might lose some yeah. strength and I'm okay with that. Like that's yeah. fine. because. I'll get it back eventually, you know. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm not absolutely. really, I'm not really tripping about mm -hmm. that to be honest. So, um, yeah. But so far, I feel like it's pretty good. I feel like it's been maintained wow. for most exercises. It's been maintained. That's yeah. super dope. That is super dope. Um, I find it amazing that you keep staying consistent with your goals. You know what I'm saying? Like you must have a really good system in place. You know what I'm saying? To where you're like constantly following that structure um to make sure you get it in like i got that really that that really um captures my attention when you tell me that because when i whenever i hear you're always doing good because lately from the past like month or two months or so it's been nothing but like you've been hitting those goals and um i admire that because the biggest goal right now for you is nutrition that's a goal many people do not stay consistent in they don't they just don't, especially when you're in a deficit like it's one thing if you're you're in a maintenance but you're in a deficit, like you're actually eating lesser calories than what it takes for your body to sustain itself. So to see that that's what's happening and that you're still maintaining that while at the same time hitting your goals, that says a lot about your discipline. Um, You know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the only time I'm saying that word now. But... That's that's all. It, that's really what it is, though. I swear that's really what it is <laughs> it is no, yeah, no, go ahead go ahead you, i mean you know I, you, yeah we don't have to really mention anything about having fun yeah it's discipline hmm. i of course i enjoy my my finish journey but there are moments where i don't hmm. but i still push through anyway because i have goals and they're not going to reach themselves that's true that's true. That's true. But but so but you are saying that you can have fun while reaching those goals. Are you saying generally or are you talking about me personally? Uh well personally and generally, yeah. Wait, are you saying if I can or can't? What do you say? Yeah, can you do can you have fun while reaching those goals? Or or does it have to all feel like torture and discipline? No, no, I just I just I just, I just... Are you not torturing myself? Are you, but are you having fun though, Jizzo? Are you really are you really happy? For the most part, yes. But you can't also rely on your finished journey to for happiness. You need to find that internally too. So that's a whole nother conversation. Oh, it's another <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just being honest because you're mentioning that, but I don't want people like I don't know. If people are relying on just their finished journey to make them happy, like I don't know. Uh, I personally don't think that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there are other aspects in life too that you need to make sure are intact. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. I get that. And, and like I said, it, it's 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 subjective, obviously, to a, a to an extent. I, I understand, you know, that yeah. level of it being your perspective. But um, yeah, topic for another day. I, I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Here. <laughs> ah! All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, this upcoming month. Uh, so the next thirty days in terms of your goals. Um. I guess in some sense, how are you looking or what strategies are you looking towards employing or um, implementing with your new fitness goals? And then what are those goals? So what are those goals for the next upcoming 30, 30 days? And then what strategies do you have in place to make sure that you hit them? Mm. For the next 30 days, honestly, I could go lower. Well, in my and calories? calories? No, like, and it will still be considered Dang, healthy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, if you, I go, if you go any lower, I'm gonna call Art. <laughs> no, because it's um right now it's not even a 500 calorie deficit yet. It's like 400 mm. or 450, but it's like right there though. It's very close. It's just a hundred off. Wow. Yeah. Um. There have been some days where I am lower. Mm-hmm. Um. It just depends, you know. So that's just been kind of working fine for me. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I'll see like how I feel with that. I guess it just depends. Mm. But for right now, though, I think I'm going to stick with this for a little bit because I need to give my body time mm. to like adjust to this, too. You know, I don't want to just keep dropping, dropping so fast. Like I literally just started. I literally just went deeper deficit the first week of June. Mm. We're like mid-June right now. So, yeah, I feel like it's too soon. So yeah. I'll wait a little bit. But honestly, I think everything will just be the same goals. So like wow. nothing will change. Wow. No, that's um that's 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 amazing. I love, you know, that you're still you you're, you're wishing you're willing to push yourself. I've noticed that about you. You know what I'm saying? Your calorie deficit, you want to drop it even lower than what you have now, man. I'm like, you're on your own. You know, um, I ain't about to <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will not be doing no calorie deficit challenges with you. Um, you know, because you would definitely win. Um, but I respect it if that's what you want to do and it's still healthy. Like, yeah, it's like, still like, yeah, because it's still 500 calories. So okay. yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I just I like to challenge myself and see what I can do. Wow. Yeah, you I'm like that art. Type of person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you like art. yeah, I'm like that type of person. So mm-hmm. I would don't be surprised if I do it because I I might. Yeah, I, I know it. you probably will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you on your own. Nah, I mean, <laughs> that's that's tough that's tough. i mean but I, but I, I i respect that is there a limit to how long you should be in the calorie deficit or does that not really matter um you definitely don't want to be in it for too long okay i would say because if i'm being honest i feel like this is the first time that i'm doing it like correctly mm, wow hold on hold on let's say this again let me let's snip it say it again for the trainers out there that maybe don't know just what did you say I just started being a trainer a year ago. Relax, all right? Relax. I don't <laughs> Relax care. Yourself. I don't care. I'm putting the pressure. What did you just say? Can you can you repeat that for everybody out there? In my weightlifting journey, I feel like this is the first time that I'm doing it correctly because most of my fitness journey has been bulking, ma- maintaining and bulking. So I so yeah, like it's been a while since I've like done something like this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, so, but I will, to answer your question, I would say definitely no longer than, like, six months, because what happens is, is you're, you're consuming less than what your body needs to survive, for your hormones to function properly, for, for your organs, like, literally everything to function normally, you're consuming less than that, you're not giving your body the same amount of energy as you need for maintenance, so um you definitely don't want to be in a deficit for too long. Um so I would I again I'm not 100% too sure cuz I'm not a registered dietitian either, but I will say maybe like you don't want to do more than 6 months. Mm. You know? Maybe like if you're cutting for 6 months, go into maintenance for a little bit, then maybe if you want to cut again, then drop it. I mean, it just depends. But I'm but I'm not 100% too sure on that. So this is kind of also a way for me to learn as well. That way I'll figure that out myself. True. That's true. But then again, that 
everyone's body's different though. So it's just because it works for me doesn't mean it might work for someone else too. So uh, mm. I do have to mention that too. Now, the thing too being one in which it's a matter of uh, of you also how can I put this? You you also want to, and then you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I feel like I've heard this before, at least from a guy I follow. His name is Greg Doucette. And that is like, there's a certain body fat percentage that, like range, right? Fat percentage range where it's healthy for male and female. It differs. I think for females, it's like in the 20s. For males, I think it's like 15, like somewhere around there. And so you, you I guess ideally, you want to be in a calorie deficit to burn a certain level of fat to be at the optimal health, right? Like you really wouldn't need to go past that. Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't really need to. Because again, we all, and this is goes for right. males and females, we need a certain body fat percentage mm -hmm. for our hormones to function exactly. properly. Because exactly. if not, then you will start to experience problems. That's right. why when I became anorexic and I was 82 pounds, mm -hmm. I had lost my period for a year. Yeah. And my period had, obviously that has to do with hormones. Yeah. So it was all mm -hmm. off because mm -hmm. my body, I didn't have enough body fat. And the same thing goes, well, I'm talking in terms more for women, but um, mm -hmm. like it also is the same if you have a high body fat percentage. Women who have uh, wow. too much body fat, they don't have a regular period. Wow. So it just goes to, it literally goes to show time and time and again, there's middle ground with wow. everything. Mm -hmm. Too low body fat percentage, too high, you will not have a regular period cycle. Wow. When you're in the middle, you have a regular period cycle. That is interesting. Yeah. So that's very, that's very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. no, I appreciate you saying that. You know, and, and again, it goes back to that. There's a there's a balance. Like, you know, a, a deficit, I feel like I feel like unless you're like competing, right? Like unless there's like some type of competition as well, a deficit can only be good for the level of reaching a certain body fat percentage that's healthy. I don't think you should just be trying to do it to get to the leanest or cut as you are. And then, but then you had a you had a body fat percentage that's dangerous. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So then your goal in your deficit is to get to a certain range that's still healthy, yet you're still you're still at a you're at a point of a figure of shape that you like and then you'll maintain that or you stop at that maintenance. But then you're still at a, you're still in the healthy fat range. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's that's good to make clear. Cause some people just do it for the sake of like, I want to get the lean, you know, oh, oh, calories in, calories out. Oh, I'm gonna get mine down to 10% body. It's like, nah, you you can die. Like <laughs> you don't want to get that low. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, that just depends because some people mm -hmm. do want to, again, some people are kind of like me in the sense they want to challenge themselves. They just want to yeah. see how low they can get it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but I mean, yeah, that could definitely start some issues, yeah. you know, so I mean, you definitely have to like do your research before you start that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Everyone's different. Some people are willing to put themselves through it just to see, yeah. but um, yeah, I feel like it's not just... It's just not healthy, like physically and mentally. Yeah, and mentally. Yeah. Overall, like, mm -hmm. there's really like no. What well, you said, there's no actual like reasoning, reasoning. for that, unless yeah. if you are competing, competing or mm -hmm. something. Then you know, go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and even then, it could be dangerous, right? Like, even then, it can possibly be dangerous, depending on how you know how how thin you get. Um, yeah, but it's an extreme sport, so that's kind of like it yeah. is what it is like it's it's meant to be extreme yeah yeah it's and very few people can handle it you know yeah. so yeah. yeah i definitely give them props yeah yeah absolutely yeah. It's, it's it's definitely extreme yeah but i i've talked to some i've interviewed even on here and they've they told me how like afterwards they were literally like bingy you know what i'm saying it got to the point to where it was like it was only for this certain thing or this certain goal that wasn't needed and then they would just stuff their faces and that, and then they would just like fall into depression because they were so used to being, you know. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, like that's what's not good because they're going from one extremity to another. You have to slowly get to that 
point where it's middle ground yeah you have to you yeah so that's why it's it's so important balance a lot of people don't know what balance is that's true that's true it's really hard to find that balance mm -hmm. yeah that's good that's good thank you for for mentioning that and i'm glad we we touched on that a little bit as well um in terms of the group what would you like us to keep you accountable for this this month I mean, just just the nutrition side of things. I guess what we talked about, just kind of mm -hmm. like that. Okay, nutrition. Yeah. yeah, the same. What we just talked about. Yeah. Okay, so making sure that you hit your calories, like, or that you stay within your calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me take note of that. Uh, it's like a, a new thing I started doing. I want to post it in the group so that everybody kind of knows. But I'll put yours out there. Yeah, I would say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna list. I'm gonna put sleep next. Let me see. Um, no, I get actually lately I've been getting eight hours of sleep. I bumped it up because before it was like seven or seven and a half. Now it's eight. Good on that. Mm. How about you? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. How about you? I can't hear you. Hello. Oh, interesting. Y'all see this? What? No, I, I no. I could. I think something. Hello. Oh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. No, it's back in. It went out. Like, how's your sleep been? Oh, how, how's, how's, how am I sleeping? How has your sleep been? How has my sleep been? Uh, you get I, good quality sleep. What do, you mean by, what do you mean? By, what do you mean by quality? Good quality sleep. You're always in a deep sleep because the deep sleep is really important. You know, you can't, you're just like going to sleep, then waking up and then tossing and turning. That's not good quality sleep. I hope you know that. Mm, just no, want to make sure you know. That's good. That's great. Great information. Um, I, <laughs> I don't I, I'm not sure. Do I get good quality sleep? Let's see. I'm not sure. You should know. I mean, well, some you know, because sometimes you can get alerts on your phone because so you have to count, you know, you have to consider that. Sometimes some people may be in different time zones, three hours behind. They may has, has no like, no no. I'm just saying, like, no, so I'm saying like notifications sometimes can disturb people. All you have to do is go back to sleep. Put your phone, do not disturb. That could Turn be dangerous. It off. That could be dangerous. Somebody's trying to go turn your phone off. My goodness. <laughs> like, like, damn. <laughs> like, damn. Like, like, not, like, you're literally disconnected from the. Somebody breaks in your house. You literally have to turn your phone back on in order to call the cops. Why are you turning phones off around here? At least you got good sleep that oh, night. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, just, okay. Now you're over here sleeping forever because you couldn't call 911. <laughs> Yo, you said you said cut your phone off. <laughs> okay, maybe not that, but like yeah, what we do all that. Do not disturb. Like, come on. Okay, you put on do not disturb. Come on. No, do do not disturb. Someone could be some like someone could be dying. Your mom may need you or your dad or someone. Okay, but that's their time. What is that? Like, that's their time. That's out of your control. That's out of your control, though. You can't. I mean, of course, that's sad, but yeah, that's very it's, sad. Like it is sad, but it's also a hard truth to accept. That's out of your control, though. If some, if something really were to happen, that's out of your control. That's not your fault. It's not yeah. like you're over here killing them. Like that's. <laughs> I I would say I'm not saying you're killing them. That's not your fault. That's out of your control. But at you the can't blame yourself for that. You. Can't but at the same guilty. time, you could you could very well feel guilty though if you. If you, you, I'm saying you could, not that you should, but you could feel guilty if you put your phone on do not disturb. No one can reach you. That's literally you choosing to say, I, you know, bro. No, it's it's true. Like like, okay, how can you, fine. How can Don't you put your phone. That? Do not disturb. But then build some discipline to not answer people when you need sleep. Okay, how about that? Exactly, exactly. It all comes down to discipline. It's for funny. everyone who's watching, it comes down to discipline. It's that is it, what it is. It's real. Okay. Fun. It's real funny when when your back is against the wall, then you want to throw the D word in there. That's all you like. That whenever you get backed into a corner, the discipline. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. So I mean, your little discipline can save you. Okay, you can let it save you, but I'm just saying. Yeah, do not disturb doesn't seem to be a wise thing to do because someone could need you. And if someone needs you, well, oh, are you were getting your eight hours of sleep? 
now you're going through depression because someone someone died because you can't you missed their call. Sometimes things just happen; it's out of your control. Yeah. So you put your phone on do not disturb. No, I don't. I have discipline. I don't answer people. <laughs> I swear though, I'm being for real. I don't put my phone on do not disturb. I don't answer. I need sleep. Wait, do you but do you even hear the ring? Not gonna lie, there are times where I do, but Exactly. So So you wake up, you literally wake up because you be hearing the ding and all that stuff of thing. Sometimes, but honestly, most of the time I don't though, because I'm a heavy sleeper. Mm, oh my I am. Goodness. I'm a wow. heavy sleeper. Wow. So, oh. yeah, most of the time I don't, but there have been times where I'm like, like falling asleep, and then mm. someone like calling me. That's when I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna answer. Like I'm trying to sleep. So you're not. So you're not gonna go sleep tonight. I mean, are, are you you're not going You're not gonna answer any calls tonight. You gonna go sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just actually going. That's all I'm asking. We talking about this topic. I'm just asking. So. Wait, yes. If not, then no. Period. Ooh, all right. So sniff it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna post this sniff today. I'm, I'm gonna post this sniff it today. <laughs> I'm posting that sniff it. All right, cool. <laughs> all right, that's good. That's good news to know. I'm sure some people, you know, some. Okay, let me let me let me hold my mouth. All right. Um, what were we saying? Um. All right. What can I do as a leader to help you in the upcoming month? So me personally, what can I do? So. (laughs) No, um, again, you know, the bullying has kind of calmed down a little bit. I really appreciate that. So um, you've been doing fine. You the fact that you wrote down my goal for Mm. like what I want you guys to hold me accountable for. That's a good thing because that way you post it for all of us so that we could see and hold each other accountable. So I like that. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Mm -hmm. You're doing great with the Zoom meetings and the weekly fitness goals and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm I'm just trying to make make sure I hear. That's it. Oh, a little short, but okay. I'm sorry. (laughs) A a little little short, but it's okay. It's all right. (laughs) That's it. Okay. (laughs) Yo, y'all see, y'all see? It be coming out. It come out. Hey, it come out sometimes. She be trying to hide it. But it come out sometimes. That's it. Oh, snip. Yo, that's a whole snippet. Like, <laughs> what the heck? That's it. Like, that was, like, so dark. He said, you had some bass in your voice when you said that. That's it. <laughs> that's it. And I was like, who, who was that? Hello? Like, <laughs> Yo, hello. I was like, who is that? Like, that's it. <laughs> Yo, whatever. It was, it was super deep. Like, what the? <laughs> I like looked away and I had to look. I was like, I was like, hello. Gee, is that you? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. Yo, whatever. But hey, whatever was in there coming out, it was coming out. That's it. And then she had to call. <clears throat> that that's it, Trey. All right, but I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that you love that aspect of it. Um, and that, you know, again, that that's something that you also um take a lot of delight in. Um, yeah. So with that said, man, we are gonna close it out. Um, G, this was amazing. Um, as always, love catching up with you, love knowing that you're doing good, you're killing it, you're slaying it. I see it, it's on your socials, you know, and so I'm sure everybody that's in the community in my fitness community, they know as well. They see you a lot. So I'm sure they see the content. They're probably following you as well. But if they're not following you, can you just take a second right quick and shout out your socials? Let them know where they can find you. Yeah. So Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, all are Giselle training. And then my YouTube is Giselle Calderon. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, guys, again, this is Giselle um this was our fitness check-in this is something we do every month with my private members uh in my private group um again she slain as you all know you see um and hear uh the words from our own mouth um again i do these to also make sure that we can dive in a little bit deeper on the the fitness journey you know a lot of times we see people posting we see the post 
Uh, but it, it 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 really helps to sit down and actually talk to people to see exactly what's going on in their mind. So this was Giselle. Amazing check in, G. Thank you for your time. Guys, thank you. Also, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you want to join any of my groups, click the link below or you can hit me up in the DMs. Uh, the links also are on my TikTok and uh, IG. So you can find them there as well, man. But with that said, G, if you want to leave them off with anything before I close out. Stay disciplined. <laughs> Why? Ax? No, I'm like, no, I'm like... No, Stay I love disciplined, that, and I can assure you, you'll probably reach your goals and be successful with it. No mention of having fun, but it's okay. It's okay, you know. I, you know, and have fun. Whoa, guys, that's the first time. I don't know what's going on, but please have fun. That you know, you need to have fun if Giselle says it. Wow, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what's going on with this IRO. She's so happy. But uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have That's fun, it. but you still need to be disciplined. Don't try to... Ruin it up. Oh, here it comes. Hey. No, because don't try to make that excuse. Oh, yeah, this and that, this and that. Have some discipline. Stop being a little... And just do it, okay? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Oh, it's a snippet. This is a snippet, y'all. This is a snippet. Oh! Look, this for real, Loki. <laughs> I mean, no... No, because low-key, I tell myself that sometimes. I'm like, stop being a little and just do it. That, 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 that demon. That demon. <laughs> tell me, miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Until next time, man. Uh, oh, what are you going to say? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just, no, <laughs> no, just going to say, like, look. If that, if that right there, like, bothers you, that means it clearly applies to you Ooh. anyways i'm done, oh, I'm done. Oh, oh, oh. so much good content bro i'm about to, I'm about to chop this stuff up bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right man until next time y'all peace <laughs>